What's up YouTube, Zombie Killer here, gonna show you how to make almost close to 4,000 on this new map. Alright, for this you're gonna need this setup. You could probably take out sustained zone and breathing room, but that may have something else, but I just recommend keeping them because they will make this ability a lot more better. But all you do is knife these zombies, you get 10 points only for a knife kill. So, you're not going to make too much points off of knifing them. But that's alright. Because we're not going for points for knifing. So, now that we got our special ability up, all we got to do, activate it. And make sure they're all hit with it. And as you see, I just went from like 600 to 1,000. And the trick to this is just letting them burn. Now I'm at 1,500. Then as they're burning, giving me points right now. As you see, my fire is still filling up, so. I'm going to have it close to halfway, which is pretty good. I have 2,200. And there we go. Now I got my bio all set up. I'm trying to see if I can make any extra points with my pistol. But anyways, I got 2,300. So, what I'm going to want to do is get all the zombies round up. And by round 2, I should have almost 4,000. Well, that insta kill don't really help, but let's just get it anyways. And then, as you see, 3,800. So I have almost 4,000 by the time round 2 comes along. Very useful. Again, I'm using Shell Shock, Breathing Room for the long, longer range, Sting Zone for the effect multiple trigger and decreasing the range so breathing room cancel out the decreased range so it just gives me the longer trigger and then fiery blast which is what making all the points now like I said you could probably take out the other two but personally I like to use them because it keeps me in control of the entire situation wherever I place it no matter how many zombies I activate it on that means I control that area. So, just for fun, to see how many doors you can get in here, real quick with just the 4,000. That we just got. Alright, that one was very expensive, so we could get all the way up to here if we just did those exact three doors. And we already got the power on by round two. And then just for a little bit of extra knifing power. We got this door open and we're ready to chill out here and watch the sunset.
Uh, the more zombies that are hit with this ability, the more effective it becomes. It's a very useful ability. I would definitely recommend it to make a lot of money. As you see, I was able to get to power by the time round 2 started up. Which is pretty good. More people using this in your lobby, the more effective it will become because everybody will just be waking up a lot of points. Man, why is it so foggy down here? Yeah, I haven't put forth a lot of playtime into this map yet. Not like I want to, at least. Pretty soon I will. Probably the power makes it foggy down here. I haven't been down here at the turning on the power before. Alright, let's get back to where I can actually see. Maybe it was something special with that round. Nah, uh, alright. But then, as you see, we're fully charged by all we gotta do is just get a lot of enemies nearby. build this weapon sooner maybe Now we just wait for the zombies to get close by. And I think I got pretty much all the zombies. And now let's just watch as our points hit 2000. And the good news is though this fire effect does a lot of damage that makes them on low enough health that you can pretty much easily one shot knife. So I'm at 3100. Get a couple knives in. And I'm already at 6,000. And I started at what, like 1,500, give or take. So, a lot of money to be made. Uh, so, something to do with the power things, maybe, with this. I haven't really explored this map or looked up any information on it. I like to try to play the map a little bit by myself before getting any of the spoilers on like how to do all the easter egg stuff. Well I see that this thing won't tell me what to do. So casual easter egg is confirmed not to be here. <laughs> Just get all the zombies I can in this nice little area. And let's go from 6,000 to even higher 7,000. Eight 
8,000. So I've already gained over 2,000. And now I'm already at 10,000. So why don't we get some nice little knife damage perk. Not that I'm going to need it just yet, but hey, why not? I got money to spend on whatever I want. I have no clue what this does yet. Oh well. Uh, I tried to be greedy. I was right there. But as you see though, you can make over four, almost 4,000 by the time that hits and by round five I had over 10,000 and I had quite a bit of doors open. So, you know, lots of points to be made. Definitely very useful for making almost 4,000 by Round uh, two. In eleven minutes, I made maybe somewhere as close to probably fifteen thousand, maybe sixteen thousand, somewhere around there. Yeah, I think it is fifteen thousand because it shows fifteen thousand for score, so maybe? I don't know. Anyways, you can make a lot, long story short. Anyways, hopefully this video has been helpful in helping you guys make a lot of money. This is effective on any map. It just allows you to pretty much get that mount by round two on this map because this map had all those zombies in the beginning with the other two don't so far. But yeah, hopefully this video is helpful. I'll see you guys on the next one.